Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. I have another guest with me today. I am so excited. She is one of my favorites. She is the darling of the Daily Wire, Gina Carano. She is also the star of Terror on the Prairie, which is our newly released film. And I'm so excited that you're here. Thank you for coming. The darling of the Daily Wire. Yes. Oh my gosh, are. that's the sweetest thing ever. <laughs> Um, okay, so Terror on the Prairie was just released. How did all this process start? So you got canceled? Severely canceled. By Disney? Yes. Yeah. And so when were you picked up by Jeremy in Dallas? Um, the day I got canceled. Okay. Um, that was like one of the worst cancellations in Hollywood, I believe. Mm -hmm. But um, uh, Ben Shapiro, you know, they everybody was like, Ben Shapiro needs to get a hold of you. And I was mm -hmm. like, okay. So they, he, I finally got on the phone with him. And he was just like, come do a movie with me. You have to punch back. And I was mm -hmm. like... Okay, because I was expecting to just stay in bed for a month and just be like, okay, and then just gradually figure out what I'm going to mm -hmm. do with my life. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, Ben Shapiro kind of pulled me out. I love it. Yeah. He's so sweet. How did you, um, I think, that's, how did you get so here? So I was doing videos with Prigger U and I was doing social media on the side, basically, while I was in school and then was writing for a couple of economic journals. And they apparently saw my social media and had this idea for a show. Um, and so they slid into my DMs, which is the amazing <laughs> story is the Daily Wire slid into my DMs. I remember the day I texted my mom. And I was like, this isn't real. And were, um, you, were you in uh, Nashville? I had just left Los Angeles. So I graduated from UCLA. I was living with my mom in Boise for a time trying to figure out what I wanted to do because I had left Hollywood. My cancellation, I, I was very intentional with, you know, coming out and being not a liberal, basically. And so I was more prepared for it and it was gradual, but it definitely has happened. I mean, yeah, you know, they canceled you. Yeah. Got yeah. dropped by my agents, lost so many friends. Yes. And so, but it was more gradual. It was nothing like your like firestorm of, I mean, the hate yeah. that you got was <laughs> insane. Yeah. But you know what? Like, it's kind of my life. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm used to it in a weird way. Everything I've done my whole, that's why I, I got so insecure to speak my entire life I was mm -hmm. so insecure because every time I said anything it always got blown out of proportion um mm -hmm. it was always a big deal so um yeah so I mean being canceled aggressively getting your ass beat on television um mm -hmm. I've, I just go out in very big ways but mm -hmm. I guess that's which my is life. so interesting because if you hear Gina talk you're so sweet Thank and you, you are very mild mannered which I think it surprised me when I met you in person because I had heard you talk but just your entire demeanor is like like, how could Disney done this? Like, yeah. you're literally like... <laughs> I feel like I'm a really nice person. person. I know, exactly. It's what it always happens to the worst, you know, the best people in a way. It's weird. I feel like a nice person. I go out of my way to make sure people feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. And like, I do that on set. And I'm like, oh, how does this happen? But mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm okay with it. Though. Yeah. So what okay. attracted you to the Terror on the Prairie project, the script? Because they signed you. They knew they wanted to do a film with you. It's a very, you know, violent, it's very genre heavy. What attracted you to the script? Well, the story. I've always wanted to be put in a dress and up on a horse because mm -hmm. um, everybody's always, always like, you know, you're the action person, you're doing this. And I think that um, Terror on the Prairie was, you know, the Daily Wire really wanted to do something different with me. So I think it's one of my better performances as an actress. I think it was just the right film to do. Mm -hmm. We were planning on doing White Knuckle and that didn't really pan out. Um, okay because the SAG-AFTRA might have imposed their mandates on us. So mm -hmm. we just did a, a non-union Western instead, mm -hmm. and <laughs> it's so amazing. I love it. <laughs> How was being on set for Terror on the Prairie different than something like Haywire, which is probably your most, up until this point, famous mm -hmm. you know, moment? It was your star breaking into Hollywood, that kind of thing. How was it different being on those two sets? So those two sets, I think uh, Haywire and uh, Terror on the Prairie are my proudest independent movies. Mm -hmm. So... They're more similar than not, Yeah, I'd say. Like, there was not drama, n none of, like, the drama that you get in Hollywood. Um, mm -hmm. No no big shots. Yeah. Um, you know, besides Tyler, massive big <laughs> shot. <laughs> Just kidding. The worst, the absolute worst. He's the worst. The comedy show was amazing last night. Oh, I wanted to go. He's so I wish great. I was, yeah. He's, he was, like, rolling around on the floor. Yeah. Chaos. He's talented, I yes. swear. That's like seeing him in his, like his element yeah. right there. How was having him on set? If I was directing it, mm -hmm. I would have just kept a camera on him the entire time. <laughs> you can have your own comedy like, special just, come out We just set. need an extra camera in here. Just put it on Tyler and huh. we will have so much footage for the rest <laughs> of the movie. So yeah, if I was directing it, it would be the Tyler show. I love it. Okay, so we mentioned Haywire briefly, but if you have not seen Gina and Haywire, there are a couple 
incredible fight scenes because you come from the world of MMA. Mm -hmm. You're a badass fighter. My producer, Scheller, who is over here that everybody knows and loves, it's one of his favorite films. He, it's his favorite of yours. And according to him, this is the best fight scene oh, in Hollywood. It's my favorite too, by the way, of everything go. I've ever done. Okay, so Ooh. going into this, uh, it's not actually a hotel room, it's mm -hmm. a stage. Okay. And so the walls are actually not as strong as we would have liked them to be. <laughs> Okay. So when we start banging up against them, you can kind of see them move because they almost fall down. Okay. Um, I'm guessing everything is choreographed down to the T. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Michael Fassbender, mm -hmm. um, he's a legend. Mm -hmm. You don't get a good fight scene without your partner being able to get and take shots. So him selling everything made this what it was. So some of these walls are um, foam okay. so that you could like there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And this yeah. is breakaway glass. Okay. Um, this is funny because the the vase that we used, mm -hmm. the the stunt people said, you know, don't look at it, and he looked straight into it. <laughs> it's like, well, keep going. This is uh, the first actor I ever acted with was this guy, and he is a genius. Uh -huh. But he did all of this, which was really, really cool. This is so cool. <laughs> How many takes did you have to do? We did this for two days. So nonstop, yep. two days, banging each other all around this. That's a fake wall. Mm -hmm. I love the knees. Oh, my God. This was a lot of fun. They let me just, like, kick... I love them here. <laughs> I love it. That's what I was always taught in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu too, especially as a woman. Like your knees are your most powerful assets. Yeah. Your legs. And and that when we kick him through the door there, they're like, Don't grab a hold of the door and he grabbed a hold of the door. <laughs> yeah, so this was my first my first film. And I gotta work with such professionals. Yeah. Incredible. And I helped choreograph this whole fight, which was cool. We had to make sure that line in the pantyhose uh -huh. was exactly where it was at every single time. I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> With the triangle choke. Yes. I love when uh, directors let this kind of live. I was going to say, the fact that it's not so, not dramatized in a way, but it's like, it's very, It's not very, cutting away yeah. so much, like a born film. It's yeah. Letting it live, yeah. And then after I do that, mm -hmm. I get up and I sit on the bed and I, like, you know, they kept on rolling mm -hmm. and I'm like, what, what else? Okay. So just keep going. <laughs> <Find> <laughs> so something else yeah. Now. <laughs> I just like sat there like, um, yeah, oh it's my, my one of my favorite things I've ever done is that fight scene. Very proud of it. How did you, I don't think I know the story. How did you get into MMA originally? Cause it's very cool. You get to merge these two passions of yours. So what got you into it originally? A Thai man called me fat. <laughs> I know. What? I need that time I'm back in my life right about now. Yeah, he was, uh, I used to go watch my um, boyfriend, who I've known for 21 uh -huh. years. We took a decade off, so we weren't, you know, okay. off and on. But, um, yeah, I would go watch him train. Okay. And then I was, you know, we were partying, drinking, and um, a little time in Master Chan, mm -hmm. about 5'4". It's like, baby, you need to lose weight. <laughs> and I was like, yep, okay, I'm signing up with you. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. When people... But it's still like, I mean, that created your entire career. Trajectory. Yeah, so. yeah. And when it doesn't come from a bad place, when it comes mm -hmm. from like, hey, I can help you here, then yeah. it's like, okay. And um, I, I signed up with him, lost 30 pounds, and immediately started fighting, and it became my addiction. It, mm -hmm. it, it, like, it, it replaced what, everything else I was doing. Yeah. So it changed my entire life. I love it. Well, you can clearly see, I mean, watching your fights and then seeing you, like you're so calm and serious and collected in all of this. Like it's so, and the same with Terror on the Prairie when you're doing those fight scenes, when you see you riding on the horse, like you are so intensely focused. Yeah. It's fantastic. Thank you. Everybody here. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> somebody said, I would love to go on a date with Gina Carano, even if it ended like this, especially if it ended like this. <laughs> I get that a lot. Really? Yeah. And I feel like people... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they would like that at all. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be beat up. <laughs> at least you won't be yeah. fighting people the entire date. Exactly. Well, I talked a lot about my, I did a live stream recently and people asked me about like my martial arts background. So I was talking about the self-defense that I did because I did it for about 
eight years. It was Brazilian jiu-jitsu mixed with like Taiwanese street fighting. And it was specifically designed for women against sexual assault. All of the comments afterwards were a bunch of people being like, oh, I want to see Brett fight. And that kind of thing. <laughs> I was like, oh my God, now it's the same comments that Gina gets. <laughs> no, like, now oh, you've no. dipped your toe into I know. my world. Somebody said Gina Carano could beat Steven Crowder in a fight. <laughs> Changed my mind. Yeah, no, probably. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen. Yeah, I'm. I feel capable. <laughs> um, one of my favorites was when we were doing the Terra on the Prairie um, premiere, and our uh, girl who runs our TikTok was asking everybody, "How would you like? How would you fare in a fight with Gina?" Yeah, yeah. And you were so calm, and you answered, and you were like, "No, I could beat everybody." <laughs> it was so great. <laughs> it's strange. Like, it, I think the older I get, the funnier the question gets. Because I used to be like, "No, no," and now I'm like, "Yeah, no, probably." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not everyone, not cowboy. I wouldn't mm. be a cowboy. But yeah. yeah. There you're you go, humble. cowboy. You're humble. Yeah, I'm, I'm realistic. <laughs> I feel like I'm being realistic. <laughs> okay, somebody else said, believable female fight scenes begin and end with Gina Grano. Oh, that's such a compliment. Thank you. Thank you. And someone said, I have fallen in love with her at first sight recently. Oh. Very recently. They fell recently. <laughs> Well, that's a compliment. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, truly, if you need a morale boost ever, all of the comments on all the fight scenes from Haywire, and if you go on to like videos of you, they're not talking about the cancellation. They don't talk about any of that. It's literally like you are such a badass. Everybody oh, loves you. I appreciate that. So it's good, I'm, especially after everything you've been through. Oh, thank you. I'm I'm good. I I feel <laughs> I don't need to look at comments. <laughs> don't you can leave that to me. It's yeah. a hot mess. I'll just be like Brett. How's it going over here? <laughs> I'll text you uh, updates. Yeah. Like, oh, this guy like, do not look okay. at this. <laughs> do not look at this. <laughs> oh my God. So you got into this industry 10 years ago. How do you feel like it has changed since then? So now you've been through the whole, like you were, you know, a Hollywood badass darling coming from MMA. Now you're, you know, canceled. How has it changed? Gosh, I feel like people are are not making original content. Big companies and studios are telling us all who um, we need to like. Mm -hmm. And instead of letting stars emerge, and I feel like I was an unexpected star from The Mandalorian. You know, mm-hmm. like people loved my character mm-hmm. and they they weren't prepared for that. They didn't know that like I was going to be, you know, hitting home with so many people. Mm-hmm. And because they didn't plan for it, I don't think uh, they liked it very much. All of the people I look up to from the past are the rebels, are mm-hmm. the people that were like, you know, screw the system. We're not going to do things the normal way. Mm-hmm. And right now that seems to be everybody who isn't, in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I think it'll go through its waves though. I think that eventually your door is going to be getting knocked on. I think Mm -hmm. mine will eventually as well. I think bullies in a way kind of like to be punched in the nose. Mm -hmm. And so I think they're kind of watching us like, gosh, we can't wait to get Brett that chance. Mm -hmm. So I think it's coming. It's just a matter of like, um, you know, letting go go of the old and really accepting and embracing the actual new. Mm -hmm. What's next for you? Do you have any plans? I want to direct that's fun yeah are you actually are you gonna move i know that you were thinking about montana after shooting yeah i'd I'd love to i think i'll get the next job going first and then we'll see you know i think something pretty big is coming my way you know do you ever that feeling where you yeah it's like a gut feeling yeah and i feel like everything that's happened and everything is just um it happened for a reason and i've got everything in my heart to make that reason worth something and so tara and the prairie was definitely an excellent start and Mm -hmm. um you know, kind of starting another career and trying to get behind the camera, I think is going to be like, it's my dream. So that's what I want to do. Yeah. Well, yay. All right, guys. Gina Carano is going to be directing something. Yeah. It's very exciting. Yeah, I will. I adore you. Thank you so much for coming on. I adore you too. All right, guys. You can be, she's going to be in my movie. (laughs) There we go. It'll be great. We'll do more of these. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Guys, we are adding new comment section content every single day. So make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and ring that bell so that you never miss a video. See you next time.